What's up guys and welcome back to Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. In the last episode we made our way into this mine shaft and now we can ever so spookily hear some spiders crawling around. I hope we're on the safe side of things, but you never know for sure in a game like Minecraft. <laughs> but yeah, we're trying to look for the very important uh, saddle. And I'm not gonna go down that way because it was way too spooky and I keep on hearing more spiders the closer we get to that area. So I'm going to assume that there's nothing good to be found there. Is that a light to a spider? No, I don't think it is, okay. Um, but I'm just gonna peek around, run around and do what I can, and of course try to get off anything in my way. <laughs> Basically, we're just trying to get that saddle, and the best way to do it is to check out any chest we find. We found two chests so far, but now they are empty, so I'm really worried that I might die. Oh, especially if there's lava over here. What is going on? Okay, I'm sort of get gathering it. Uh, it looks as though I'm hearing more spiders, so it might not even be worth the idea of going down here. But, um, hmm. Yeah, I can do that and hop down this one more time, especially since I'm seeing cobwebs and stuff. That's never a pleasant start to it all. But I'm basically just gonna try to cover up this lava really quickly before I do. You know, let's put some uh, torches down just like that. And then, do do, and then almost there. Uh oh, I hear a zombie. Cause it's gonna get really dark really fast once we plug this lava up. Um, But I do wanna, you know, plug it up for my own safety's, safety's sake. <laughs> All right, this is a dead end. Dead ends are good, believe it or not. Um, I believe dead ends are good because there's even less of a chance that something's gonna sneak up on us. This is like a weird double spawn here. Um, who? Who? Okay, once again, this is bad. I really don't like it when like pe things can sneak up behind us, but that's exactly what can happen here. We also have to keep track on uh, how everything is going because like it's, oh, there's a torch here. As if I was here before, but with all this ore, I definitely know I haven't been. That's sort of creepy. <laughs> okay, nobody is coming in from behind me, so now might be a good opportunity to start mining some of this stuff down. Get rid of that, and then this. A lot of iron. Iron's gonna be super duper helpful. If you guys didn't know, at this point, I need to dedicate my iron into making more railings, so that'll be good. And there we go, there's four more pieces of iron right now. So yeah, when it comes to this stuff, we're doing really well. Let's get some of this tor or the, the, some of this coal. Coal we can find anywhere and pretty easily, so I'm not going to risk myself for it. I'm just gonna get what I need to get. I'm also gonna plug this up just in case I need to make like a straight run away from any situation I'm able to. So basically I'm just playing super duper protective. Yeah, we have over two stacks of coal right now. I'm pretty comfortable. And you know what, one of the reasons why is because there's these creepy spiders that are in these kind of caves that are <laughs> not only horrifying, but they poison you, which is never a pleasant thing. So let's keep running this way. Yeah, let's get back out of here. And, um, oh, I hear an Enderman too. Just the gurgles of everything unpleasant in one concentrated but still elongated spot is just the most pleasant thing you can imagine. All right, now I could hop down here, but this looks like four different opportunities for a monster to hop on me. And that's the difficult thing. You wanna be able to find that balance where you're actually making progress through this stuff, but also not getting attacked and dying because that's just going to be counterintuitive to everything we're trying to do. All right, get all this stuff. And then we're gonna head back, because there definitely was way more in this gigantic mine shaft we can experience. There was a more open area down um, this way, I think. The way we came from. Because it led to a big open room. This ain't it. <laughs> Please don't tell me I'm a lost zebra. Oh boy. Yeah, I think it's down here, though. Because um, there's gonna be a, no, it's not that one. Where Where is it? Uh-oh. <laughs> I may or may not be lost. Um. Yeah, let's do that really quick though. I can get some iron, so I might as well. Maybe it was down, no, definitely not down here. This is certainly a dead end? Yeah, okay. I'm officially lost. That's bad news. Ah, here we are. Alrighty then, so there's that chest and there's some iron here too. Here's that big room where I heard a slime, I thought, but I didn't see one. Hmm, oh, look at this. Okay, here's some more iron. Oh my, Um, anything on that side? There possibly could be. So, oh, no, there is a dead end, okay. <laughs> well, that works out well for me then. Um, and then, whoa, okay, there's stuff over there. Uh, place more torches down. Luckily, when it's like this, if there's nothing behind me, it makes it much more easier to handle. There we go. So still nothing, no, uh, what's it called? Okay, get this, get this, get this, and that. There you go, cool stuff. Get these as well. They're gonna be super helpful. Like, how many do we have at this point? We have nearly a full stack. That saved us so much iron, you guys don't even know, so that's awesome. I'm glad about that. And then we'll be able to make even more of them, so. Oh gosh, here, this is what I was worried about, because if a creeper shows up, they don't make any noise when they follow you around, so they can be behind you at any point in time, and he had to be a, 
I don't even know. <laughs> a nice guy. Just ever ever so often a great fellow of those creepers. Um, oh, there's another one too. See, look, he had a pal. And you never know when they have pals. So you just gotta hope that everything's okay. Even though, clearly, it's not. Um, all right. Let's hope there wasn't yet another one. Because that would just be awkward. Um, there definitely could be, though, with all of this going on. There's a skeleton. Okay, skeleton. We're handling this quite fantastically, all things considered, though. Like, we haven't gotten too hurt. We've ran into a few enemies at this point, but... Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's all a lot to take in, isn't it? That makes it so hard. That's why I don't like mine shafts, but... This is the place where we're gonna get a saddle, so we gotta go for it, you know? You know, if we wanna get to the end of the game and get all the achievements, it's exactly what we have to do. All right. And then there's nothing down there, really? Oh gosh, don't get stuck in this stuff. That'll be horrible. It is worth our time to get rid of it if it is in the way. It looks like this still keeps going on for a good chunk of time. There's some iron over my head, but I can't focus on it right now. We're actually starting to become low on torches, which is equally as bad as anything else. Luckily, we do have some uh, blocks above our head. Oh geez, I really don't like this because it's just dangerous, you know? One of the things that I don't like about Minecraft is when you can't tell what's around you, you know? And that's very, very possible in mine, Jeffs. Okay, then we're good, we're good, we're good. Let me get this stuff, boop, 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 boop. Nice, I hear that Enderman still, he's still chilling around, keeping his distance just enough so that I don't bother him, and hopefully he doesn't bother me. Oh, nope, I found him, Never mind. All that I said, currently untrue. <laughs> okay, with that being said, I'm gonna get this iron, because it's there, and then I'm actually gonna break a few of these, just because I have the opportunity to. And see where this brings us. If we can get like 10 of these, that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. Get 10 of these so that I can uh, make myself a good chunk more torches. Alrighty, over a full stack of torches again. That makes it all more useful. Alrighty. Um, and we got everything in there. That's an unneeded torch, so I'll take it back. But yeah, let's get started back on the road with everything. Yeah, we'll just go down here. And, and I can actually move the zombie meat over there. We're getting pretty much a full inventory at this point of everything. Which is good, but once again bad, because we haven't found the saddle. We're gonna make room for that once we get it. Okay. Let's go back into this room, though. Because as you can see, there's still multiple paths here. Like, this mine shaft is very, very big. Like, I don't know if you guys understand how huge it is. Because this is an area, and this isn't even the area we first came in from, where there are still some more hidden paths, from my knowledge. I don't see any chest just peeking down there. So, what about here? Here I see, that's a witch. Oh geez, I haven't seen a witch underground before. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm like examining it like it's some specimen. Ah, this will be great for my journal. Zebra's <laughs> weirdly interesting journal of Minecraft monsters. <laughs> Try abbreviating that one. Okay, I'm like the Minecraft Darwin. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get back up here though. That one looks a little too over my head. Then there's another path here. I'm hoping that one isn't too divulging. Um, let's find out though. Best way to do this is probably to plug this up first of all. Um, let's get over there, come on, I'm almost there. Boop, there you go. All right, that will be much more helpful now. Yeah, this one, oh, okay, there's still stuff here. Um, nothing in here, but there is a location to be had here. All right, well, there's still a ton of these I can get here too. <laughs> all right, I guess at this point, it's becoming a bit of a grind. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I hear spiders. Oh boy. I don't like it, I don't like it one bit. Guys, <laughs> I was about to just, you know, talk about unrelevant stuff because I thought we had the opportunity to. But here, there's a spider very close. Very nearby, there is a spider. I just gotta figure out where it is. I feel like it's almost, oh gosh. I feel like it's almost a smarter idea to break some of this stuff just so I can see better, you know? And it's like, oh gosh, Enderman dust. Oh, here he is. Hey, buddy. Uh, you just keep walking, okay? I don't need any of you, and you don't need any of me. So we're gonna keep it that way. But that way, it's like I can see across these corners without it being, you know, a big deal, if that makes any sense. Oh, I hear all of the noises, and you guys can too. You guys gotta be able to share and <laughs> what's going on here. Hey, hey, cre hey, guys. Stop that. You get out of here. I know you're cool and all, but... Oh, he's making unpleasant sounds too. Stop that, please. I would rather not hear any of that. Okay. And then this has a corner around it. Then we could do once again the same thing. 
So that's the thing, I'm, that's the method I'm approaching here, is that if we do the middle block, that's not gonna give any opportunities. Like, it might give opportunities to the spiders to climb through, but they were gonna come around pretty quickly anyways. What I'm worried about is going around there just being a creeper waiting, but they can't go through the middle block, so that's gonna be our approaching strategy just for the moment. Okay, nothing in there, nothing in here. Um, oh gosh, this is pretty big. Uh, oh geez. Yeah. <laughs> nothing! Absolutely not, like we can't find that one last chest that could make or break this for us. I guess we can't. Oh man. All right, well, we'll do the thing we just did before and get all these, but yeah, I guess I'll start talking about other stuff now, or at least try to without the game interrupting me too much, because, you know, there's a, you know, a lot of stuff's going on. Right now, it is almost September. I've been trying to upload the series as much as possible, and you guys have let me know that you do appreciate it, which is awesome. I'm really glad that you guys enjoy it that much, but, uh... Yeah, it is almost September. September, personally, is gonna be a super busy month. I know for a lot of people, they're heading back to school, as I mentioned last episode, which is also important and busy. Personally, there's a lot of video games releasing this September, and, you know, as YouTube is sort of my full-time thing right now, you know, it's a big focus for me to be able to make videos on as many as possible. Uh-oh, that's a, is that a bat? That's a poison spider. All right, I think we found our creepy cul crawly culprit. Uh, we could go for it, but I hear a skeleton! Get out of here! Get out of here, jerk! There you go. And then is he after me yet? He's not. I heard his footsteps, though. So it's like I knew he was coming. All right, now he's the poisonous one, so we gotta play some hot feet here and make sure he doesn't actually attack me. He didn't, luckily. Um, but that doesn't mean we're in the clear. So that was the first time we ran into the spiders I was ever so spooked out about. Um, and then, whoa. What was that? Oh, it's Enderman. Okay. The Enderman's still walking around with that stinking piece of gravel. Ah, oh, this game drives me nuts sometimes with all of its scary stuff. But there's, there's another spider over here. I am very certain there is. Yeah, he's right here. He's waiting for me. He's waiting for me. All right, buddy. I don't like you. I'm going to assume you don't like me, because why not? Okay, that was a normal spider, though. I don't think that was a poisonous kind. They have, like, a nice blue tint to them when they're poisonous, from my knowledge. Well, it's not very nice, but... You understand what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, iron everywhere, though. That is important. Okay, but here, now we have an opportunity to sort of peek like that. There you go. Okay, and then back over here, and I did run across some iron, yeah, right here. And then do that, and then these two as well, because why not? All the iron in the world, like, when it comes to iron at this point, we are very, very comfortable. Now my goal is, of course, to get a lot of cobblestone, because another achievement is to get a full inventory of all cobblestone. But like I was saying, September's gonna be a crazy busy month for me, not only because of all the videos I have to make, but I wanted to sort of really press for different things. I wanted to press to, you know, increase video quality in different ways. It's just, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff is really awesome and fun to do, but it's also very, very tough, you know? I have to know what I'm doing a lot of the time, and it can be tough that way. Okay. Get all that stuff, but yeah, well, as always, let me know what stuff is going on with you guys. I'm always all ears with that kind of stuff. I always try to give advice where I can, I don't know, that's what I've always been trying to do, especially this last year with the YouTube channel, is sort of be, I don't know, there, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Because I sort of notice when I think back at my life, especially when I was younger, especially when I was like, you know, 13, 14 years old, I think to myself, I say like, you know, if I had a really good example, like somebody that could really make a good example, you know, that I could just, you know, be friends with and talk to, you know, I feel like my life could have turned out better. Not to say that my life has turned out badly, but I'm just saying that, you know, opportunities come and go, and that you should always make the most of them. And I wish I had somebody there to tell me, hey, you're being an idiot, take these opportunities, you know? So, maybe, you know, that, that's why I try to be, if that makes any sense. Okay then, with that being said, I've gone into there. Well, that's the way we came from. I'm fairly certain. Um, unless, no. That's the way we came, well, I mean, I don't need to find my way back per se. I could always just dig my way up. So I guess that's not really that big of a worry. But at this point, I'm starting to throw in that towel. I don't know if we're gonna find any chests in a safe manner at the least, you know? It could be quite dangerous to look for them at this point because it gets deeper, darker, and more dangerous. Um, I was hoping we could just get really, really lucky with it all. I don't hear or see any monsters, but this right here is the worst example of having no way to protect myself, uh, because there is just basically every direction has something to sneak up on me with. Like even that, <laughs> like a scale, like you know, water sort of you know emulates safety, but not entirely because even then, something could sneak up behind us because a skeleton could still shoot us through water. All right, doesn't seem like there's anything here. I gotta move these uh, torches over there. 
All right, and they keep going. Whoa, whoa, glitchiness, really glitchy. Oh gosh, I don't like it. Um, looks like we're reaching some type of means to an end here. Um, there's a chest. Okay, operation quick. No, no saddles at all. Come on, there's some gold. At this point, I'm not even sure if it's worth taking. I'm nervous that an enemy's gonna hop on me here in a moment. Um, do that, and then okay, there doesn't seem to be anything here. But sometimes stuff is more than meets the eye. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't see anything at this point. Uh, and I don't want to mess with the lava, of course. So we're going to turn our ways back now. And then we're going to mark your way back up over here. <laughs> Jeez. The zebra luck is real right now. I mean, it could have been realer, I guess. I mean, we could be dead by this point and then die and not be able to get our stuff back. That would be true zebra luck, right? <laughs> Hashtag zebra luck. But either way, like I was saying earlier, I just always want to try to be a good example for you guys, because I feel like that's what I would have appreciated when I was younger, and I know that I have a lot of younger viewers right now, so, yeah. All right, we can try going down this way. Uh, That's a dumb idea, though, because there's a zombie there. Um, I think what we can do then, because I think that's this path here. So, like, if we... uh. Do this, yeah, okay. Then let me try this out. Um, I'm gonna uh, just do that. There you go, just so I can make my way across. Then do what we can to get across and then take out this zombie. I'm getting a little better with the combat of this game. I could tell you guys that much. Like, I can switch through my weapons way easier. Like, oh geez. I don't know what I wanna do about that. I don't even think there's gonna be any items. Like, I don't know if they're, like, did they provide items for those kind of dungeons? Like, I'm pretty sure there won't be. And I don't know if I can handle that. You know, it's like, my sword is starting to get low on durability. I don't know if I could actually handle that, guys. So I don't know. I hope it's okay for me to skip out on it. Because I don't think I can handle doing that. I think I would actually die. Because if we take a look at my armor, how is that doing? My sword is getting a little low on durability. My armor, over besides my pants, is doing pretty decent, though. Um, there's a lot of mushrooms here. I'll take some of these, because people rave on about the mushrooms being good. So let me... Take on. So we're getting just about everything under the sun besides diamonds and saddles. <laughs> the two things I truly want at the end of the day, huh? Okay. Really uh, establishes what's valuable in life. Okay. So we found yet another chest, but it didn't really have what we were looking for. So now we must keep going or throw in that towel, like I keep suggesting. Because it's something I want to do at this point, because I'm just scared. I'm getting tired of this area. <laughs> This is the biggest mine shaft I've ever seen, though. It's, like, gigantic. We just keep going and going and going. Hmm. And, of course, as people have suggested before, the redstone glitch is always an option, but it's not an option I like taking. I personally think it's not cool. Alrighty, then. So we have two full stacks here. I want to go for it, but I don't... I don't know. What if I tried doing... Oh. So, let's, let's try cheesing it. Maybe this is what we should try in the next episode. Uh, let's find out. Um, and then do that, and then do this. That way nobody can sneak in behind me, and maybe I'll make like a blockade here as well. Um, alrighty then. So in the next episode, I think we'll completely cheese this. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Oh my gosh, they can go through. They can go through that. They can go through that. that I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know. Well, now I know. Pow knowledge is power. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to give it a like. Share it with your friends and family and comment in the comment section below. What do you think about some of the crazy, I mean at this point, pretty crazy things we've done at this episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>